Hello Leos, how are you doing? Welcome to Silavi Tarot. I hope all is well with you, Leo. I hope you are doing phenomenal. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look at love here and see what the vibes are overall. Okay, hit the like button if this resonates or if you just like the vibe. What's happening with my Leos in love? Trust your intuition, Leo. Leo, what is your intuition telling you about this connection? What are the lessons that you've learned in love, in past relationships, in past scenarios? What is your intuition telling you, Leo? Stay or go? Resist? or let it flow. I feel like for some of you at this time here, you're asking yourself, you're asking yourself, will I regret it? Will I regret it if I make this decision? Some of you may be connecting with a Libra, an Aries, or an Aquarius or Scorpio, um, and things are just not going well. Um, I feel like someone here could be in a place where, some of you, Leah, from what I'm channeling, Someone here could be in a place where they constantly project or they're taking things out on the relationship that has nothing to do with the relationship or nothing to do with you. You're starting to notice that possibly, you know, possibly that there's nothing else I could do to make this relationship work. It's not about us. It's not about me. It's not about... Um, you being upset with me again, or you just not talking to me again here. Um, maybe we're just not a match here. And I feel like for some of you, maybe your intuition has been telling you this. And aside from a relationship here, okay, your intuition has been telling you a lot of things this week and going to tell you more for the remainder of the month. It's going to be up to you, Leo, to listen or to take heed of what your intuition, I mean, one of our best, forget every reading, forget every uh, tarot reading or, you know, things like that. Our intuition is there for a reason. It is there to speak to us. It's here to guide us. It's here to say, no, yes, don't go, right? You're already in bed. There's no need for you to get up and, and go out because you got a call. There's no need for you to give that money away. There's no need for you to trust that situation that has shown you the same thing over and over. There's no need. There's no need to go back and try it again. There's no need. So I feel like for a lot of my Leos that are watching, especially my viewers, my subscribers, you're in a place where you're saying, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about and I'm working on it. I'm working on it here. I also got a message here for a business or a job here. Maybe there was an offer that came in maybe there's a new job offer coming in um and i feel like you're trying to figure out should i take this new opportunity is this new opportunity going to be good for me you know should i let go of this opportunity and take uh this direction instead here again listen to your intuition we'll take a look at that in a minute here but let's go back into this love place we have regret here Someone is saying you first, you do it first, you say it first here. So someone here could be in a position where it's like, I know that we should sort of sever ties or we should go different uh, our different ways here. But maybe someone here could be a little nervous about doing so. All right, I'm a little bit nervous in terms of taking that step here. Maybe I just want to still be friends. I'm also getting this person or someone here still hiding behind the title of let's be friends, right? Let's kind of just keep in touch. And it's like, why? Why? Why do we need to do that? The last time we did that, we got back together. But why? You know, so someone here is like finding reasons to hold on to something. How does this person feel about Leo? How does this person really feel about Leo? How do you feel about my Leos? We have the Nine of Cups here. We have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. One more, please. And we have the Three, to, three of Swords here. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is someone here that definitely... I feel like they have emotions for you. I feel like this could be someone here that tends to bring in this very in and out energy. Um, I do feel like this person could be very money focused or, you know, they have a high position or a very high status to some degree. Um, 
but I feel like be very careful, especially if it's someone that is very in and out, all right, with that Knight of Wands there. Could be a Pisces, could be a Leo, another Leo, or um, a Scorpio, or even a Libra energy, Gemini, uh, Aquarius energy. Someone here, it's like they hide behind their money or they hide behind what they have here. I do feel like this person possibly has expressed to you some of the things that they've gone through in life and some of the things that has been burdening them in life and things like that. Um, but I feel like this person views you as somebody that's always going to emotionally somewhat be there for them and entertain their pain as if like I've been through so much when I was younger I'm you know I have so much trauma I have so much going on in my life like I don't know where I really want to be right now I'm stressed out about work and you know there's so much going on this is someone here that puts on a pity party sometimes Leo sometimes um and I feel like you're at a point where you're looking at this person and you're like grow up <laughs> grow up um grow up either you know we could make it work or either you're going to show up and get some help or you're just going to release this. Because I feel like there's someone here that's coming in with this like projecting vibe. Now we have regret here. I want to clarify this energy of regret real, very quickly. What is this regret like energy? Eight of Wands. So this person's going to communicate. Blah. Once you start walking away and you start giving up on this person, there's this regret. There's this, hey, listen, I was, I was having a bad day or let's reconcile. Let's meet for lunch. Let's meet up here. Let's talk. So someone here tries to come back. Eight of Cups here. Pause Eight of Cups and we have the death card here. It's like once Leo is on their way, to a new beginning healing someone wants to come around and stop you it's like i'm trying to stop you here and again it could be with an apology but again leo is saying i'm at my breaking point someone's at their breaking point here with all of this commotion and all of this like therapy like relationship status stuff here okay um some of you you may regret you know you may be in a place where you're saying what if i'm making a big mistake what if I let this person go and not find someone else? Um, that is false. Um, I feel like staying in this scenario may actually put you in a disadvantage if this is you, okay? Um, I do feel like someone here is going to want some sort of reconciliation or want to be part of your life moving forward here. Um, and it may confuse you a little bit, especially when the communication is coming in back to back. I'm getting like rapid fire text messages here where someone gets into this like impulsive place of saying, hold on, let's talk, let's communicate. Let's try to fix this. Let's try to see if this could work. Um, and again, you know, you're going to have to trust your intuition. I feel like there's going to be a lot of choices coming in for you. Oh, hermit. There's going to be a lot of choices, Leo, that's going to be presented for you this month. And you have to be in a place where your intuition is responding for you. Like, uh, no, no, I'm not selling my business. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not lending you money again. I'm not, you know, letting you come over after you've cheated multiple times or no, no, I'm not letting you, you know, repeat the cycle in my life. I want some peace here. Like, I just feel like you're stepping into this hermit energy in a very loving way. I don't feel like you're closing out or shutting out towards love. I still feel like you're in a place where you're still open to great love. You're still open to the opportunity of, you know, connecting with your soulmate and connecting with someone that is you know, on your higher vibration that you're evolving into. I don't get bitterness with my Leos at all. I get this energy of, you know, what's for me will come to me. I will find what's for me. Um, the job that I want, the friendships that I want, the relationships that I desire will all come to me. And there's no need for me to regret. That's the vibe I'm getting with Leo moving forward here. Like, I don't get that you are disabled at all. Like, honestly, I see the strength within my vision right now. Um, you're very, very strong. You're confident. Um, and you're pushing through, Leo. Okay? Uh, let's see some more here moving forward with my Leos. Let's see some more here. Messages coming in. Pushing forward for my Leos, please. We have the Magician here. Okay? And we have the Ace of Cups, of course. <laughs> 
We have the Ace of Cups, baby, which means that you do not lack here. There's something here that you are wanting to start, wanting to learn. It could be a new job coming in for you, Leo. Could be a new opportunity. Um, universe brings in a new opportunity, especially once you release things that are just in the way. Okay, things that are in the way, things that are causing confusion, you know, rodents that are causing confusion, and you step into this page of swords energy, um, learning, right? Learning how to communicate, learning how to start a new uh, skill. Uh, there's something beautiful that comes in for you. Now, with this magician here, you have the tools to actually make this all happen for you with the six of pentacles a lot of you are going to be in a position where you're going to help a community help other people um you're going to be in maybe you're a teacher maybe you're a counselor maybe you're somebody that has a, a position to help others hr or you're somebody that's able to really give back maybe into medicine or something of that nature i see you giving here and i do feel like for some of you um when it comes to love you're actually going to connect with someone that that actually shows you a different angle of love. Like, hey, check this out real quick. Check, check this energy out. Check out this form of love. And I feel like it really comes from a place of you. Um, first, you go into the hermit energy. You really start to reflect, especially during this Mercury in retrograde. You really, really use this to your advantage to reflect, to release things that are not uh, conducive to you any longer, uh, to release obstacles and release barriers. And you actually get into that magician energy and you start to think things through and you start to really analyze the amazing tools that you have in your back pocket in terms of your communication skills, your loving energy, um, all of the ambition and all of the abundance that you were born with. Um, and you're going to put that into work. And I see you giving back like you're giving back here and then the universe comes in and bless you with this energy of new love for a lot of you if you're open to that of course if you are open to new love i see for some of you it could happen once you start a new position or even during traveling or just someone here that comes in that's been watching you for a while leo someone that's very interested in your craft very interested in getting to know you um with the ace of cups it talks about new emotions so uh, I do feel like there is a new, this is new, honestly, a new energy that comes in, but it's going to be up to you if you are open to that, right? Some people are just not really open to that right now and they sort of just really want to focus on career and that's fine as well. Um, what is the, what is the advice? What is the advice here? Thank you. We have a principle. One more. Sagittarius energy. Like a lot of logic. Like I feel like your, your domination here. So I feel like for some of you, someone here is going to, or there's someone in your life here that tries to control a scenario, especially once you start to apply logic to a scenario here. Um, don't allow people to guilt trip you. Oh, you know, I'm going through that. Please do not allow anybody to guilt trip you. Do not let anybody muscle you into any position that you are not feeling comfortable with. Do not let anybody muscle you into any path that you do not feel like is of your destiny so you know it could be again a, a business proposition where they're like oh you know we're going to give you the best of the best and once you apply to it or accept it it's not it or even someone here that's coming in and wanting to convince you that they're great in relationships or they're they're going to change here you know listen to your intuition and do not let anybody we have sagittarius here we have pisces gemini here again virgo do not let anybody muscle you into anything that you do not feel is of your journey, okay? But your intuition is going to be the best teller of that uh, scenario here. I feel like there's a lot of things coming in for you, and Spirit wants you to put your intuition first, okay? Because I see a lot of great things coming for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands here, Six of Pentacles here. You're in a great position, Leo. 
Okay, you're doing amazing at this time. Of course, there is some, you know, bumps in the road here, but you're only getting better moving forward. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Of course, if you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below where we could talk about your journey and talk about really um, fine tuning your intuition and getting a better understanding of what um, direction you should move into. Okay, I love you. Have a good one.